Welcome back to Rum. I'm BA. And today I'm going to be making a bow rack. And the reason why is because I have bows that I don't want to just prop in the corner. Kind of like this one here. This is a, this is a Mongolian bow. All right. This is a very nice bow and it's about 55 pound draw. Believe it or not. It's like, it's a 55 pound draw. It's uh it's the real deal. It's not some PVC pipe bow or anything. This is a real bow. I want to have a place to put some of these bows and I shoot a lot. I want to be able to just grab it, go outside and shoot. I want to have a place to hang arrows and, and I want to be able to put a couple of bows up. So I want to build a dual bow rack, you know, something that holds two bows. And I'm going to do that today and we're going to get started right now. First off, let's just zoom you in so you can see. All right. I'm uh, going to measure this again just to make sure what it says. This is, this is a six. That's six foot. That's a three and a half. All right, so six, three and a half. So that's the boards you want. Now I just need to determine. I need to get to three feet. So it's a six. So you want to get to three. So I'm going to go down to three. I'm just going to mark it. I'm no expert at woodworking. My dad is. My dad is an expert at woodworking. I'm not. But uh, I did learn, learn quite a bit. Never mind things falling all over the place. That happens. But uh, he was always pretty good at it. He always gave me a lot of ideas. All right, there's my half. Right there. So, over here. Okay, you can see that better. Let's see if I got enough room on this cord. This is the second one because you're going to need two of these. Perfect. Now for this part here, I just want to, uh, from the top, I'm just going to... I have to, uh, how do you do this? Um, you have to determine where, I kind of want to just cut that knot out. I'll just cut around the knot. So you're just going to draw, I might have to go, here we go. This, go in some, and then go up. Let's just go up and then go around just like that and then down here we could repeat that if I cut this out nice and neat I'll use it for the next one but that's my little slit for my bow to sit in it and then we'll marry this one up to the next one and, and print that out basically draw out just be sure to C-clamp your project down so it's not flopping all over the place. I've got to come at this from a weird angle because of the side it's on. I'll be going in and hopefully I can make that turn. I'll take you along in case I screw it up.
what you want. Just set your other piece up there. Hopefully I can cut this one on the line too, right? Because I got to do this twice. Alright, I got my C-clamp down. Let's try it again. Hang on a sec. Safety glasses. You got to have them, man. I'm telling you. That does with something else. Let me just kind of make sure I bring this project out just a little bit more. I don't hit that. There we go. Don't want to hit the post here. There we go. Need some of those quick release clamps, don't I? All right, let's get started. So I want to cut the knot out of this one, and all I'm doing is, uh, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it, just marrying it up, taking my little pin, trace my little line, that's where I am, and then down here where the other one meets, draw my little line, just like that. Now I can get this piece to the side, that'll hold two bows. Now I need that one to hold two bows. I'm repeating the process. I'm just cutting these out. Okay, now I have my two pieces, bow and a bow. And that's going to be the bottom end that I'm going to use. I might put a door on it later for uh, just putting some stuff in it or whatever. Got a few little chips there, but I can sand that out. It's no big deal. All right, now I need a place for the arrows. This is a little old 1x5, 1.5 inch width. I think it's a six footer too, I believe. It doesn't really matter about the length because I only need uh, the length of, of this guy. That's how long I need it to be. The same length as this. Because this is going to be the bottom and the top. That was the other two boards I showed you. This is going to be to hold my arrows. And uh, I only have to put a little divot in the bottom. But uh, I'll probably actually... I might go ahead and just do two, bottom and a top. Let's just do that. Yeah, we'll just cut that in half. Let's see. Link. That. Go ahead and I'll cut that right here too. I don't need it. There we go. Cut that little tab off. Sweet. All right, you're gonna want yourself a drill through board, something you can drill through. Uh, there's my bit. You can get whatever bit you choose for your arrows, but I need that for my broadheads. Uh, you could do 12. You know, usually most sets are 12. I did a few more. Uh, every two inches is about how far you want to space it out. But I'm going to be doing every two inches. All I did was measure that up two inches, each one. Two inches from one another. <coughs> <coughs> Don't, don't get crazy, like me. There we go. A little messy, it's all right. 
That's what sanders are for. I'm gonna sand all that anyway. All right. Anyways, repeat process all the way down. There we go. A little bit cleaner that time. But yeah, just keep going all the way down. All right, got all my holes. Now I need to do it to the next one. I just don't drill all the way through this time. I just kind of leave an indention. I'll show you. All right, now you're just going to line them up with the other one. They're on top of one another. There's no holes in that one yet. You're just going to line it up and just take your time. I'm going to try not to get crazy, but... Just gonna kind of. That should be enough. That's perfect. That's all you need to hold your broadhead once it gets in that. It's not gonna roll out of it. So uh, you're just gonna go all the way down, making divots. So that'll be the, where the broadhead goes. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm just attaching all this together now, and. I might put that one on the inside. I got to sand it anyway, so it don't matter. But I'm just going to be putting screws in this, and I don't want to hold a camera and fiddle around while I'm putting screws in. So just bear with me. Just put a couple of screws in there and uh, move your way to the other side all the way around, putting it together as you were. Drill first. As soon as I heard a slight crack, I said, yeah, I forgot about that. That does happen, doesn't it? So... To keep from splitting your boards in half, go ahead and just get yourself a hole started. That'll keep it from splitting. You have to. Well, I'm probably just going to go ahead and start one screw. Hopefully it doesn't try and split on me as soon as I go. That's what you got to do. I'm not sure. I didn't want to show everything on camera. I'm trying to be sneaky Pete. It's kind of splitting there. It'll be all right. Yep. See that? It's all my fault, too. Well. How do I fix that? Drill. Make it wider. You can. I guess I will. All right, to be concluded. And there's the difference between drilling a hole and not. Not drilling a hole. Drilling a hole. I hate you. All right, I'm gonna flip it over and start on the next side. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna quit talking about it. See, see, perfect. Drill a hole, drill a hole first. So I'm having to measure, yeah, I know it's not perfect, but uh, I'm having to measure now to determine. See, I've got this bow in here. It's, it fits perfect like I want it. And I just want to figure how many inches are we going to be? How many inches do I want that to come down? I mean, there? Is that a good spot? Or is that like a, let's see, let me. Let me stick that. I like that there. And let's bring that up there. Bring you a little butt up there. There we go. There. And there. Okay. Looks good there. That's where I'm going to start with my arrows there. Sweet. Now I'm just sizing this up for the bottom piece to keep it from, keep them from rolling out of it. And that's it. I could have just put the marks on the bottom of the board but who cares right okay so here we go that's what we're at right now now I need to give it some sanding let me just sand it and we'll spruce it up a little bit okay for this next part I just sort of laid this down but let's just set it up it's gonna start raining I gotta hurry up Take you a torch. This is my method. You can stain it if you want. 
I got one spot that chipped it when I just dropped it. It's all right. It's gonna happen, man. Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. You get the point. I got the whole thing to do though. All right, got that part done. It looks like it's gonna rain. Let me go ahead and flip this. There we go. And I'm gonna get this inside and I'm gonna stain it. All right, I've got my mat down and I'm gonna be uh, staining. So I'm gonna be staining this down. I'm gonna be using just, uh, I'm just gonna use gun stock for this one because I like how gun stock looks. It's my favorite color in the world. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe this thing down with some uh some some gun stock all right i'm just going to be using a microfiber because i've got a lot of surface to cover and i'm not going to be able to cover all that with a paintbrush so you're just going to rub it in there just like that Ta -da. all the way around and there you have it nice little nice little rack you just take your bow out whenever you're done with your bow set it right back in there uh you can use, I just threw some arrows in there. These are old arrows I've used over and over and over again. And uh, I don't feel like cleaning them up. So I, I just decided to sacrifice them to the wall. I went ahead and uh, slid them all in there. These are ones I'm not going to be shooting for a while. So uh, I'm putting them up there in the uh, shoots there. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see if I can't pull this out a little bit. I'll just carry you around with me. There we go. There's, bring it down. Let you see. There you go. Da, da, da. Nice little loops. You can see I got these. I got these really good. Same with this one here. Nice little loop. They match. Now later on, what I'm planning on doing is put you back in the camera pot here. Here you go. Get right back over here. Get you back in your little home there. There you go. All right. So what I plan on doing here. Now I'll just see this back up a little bit. And I get a full picture. It's kind of a big item. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm planning on doing here is putting a, uh, a kind of another space here that just kind of covers the front of this right there. And I might do another one up there. I'm not just, just for here, I think. And I think down in here in this pocket is where I'm going to kind of put uh, extra gear and, and things for, uh, for, uh, bow maintenance and and uh and fletchings and and all that knocks and stuff so i'm just going to kind of stuff all that in there so that's what i got so far i hope you liked it and uh you're watching rump i am ba have a beautiful fabulous i'm sweating beautiful fabulous fantastic day rainbows and unicorns take it easy